Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is a part 4 video series of web designing course from scratch using HTML5 and cascading style sheet 3. I'm reloading the browser. In the Internet Explorer, see now the image is totally covered the background of a web page. Even when I scroll, let's check in the Internet Explorer also. I'm reloading the browser. We have added the background image cover to our web page. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. In my previous part 3 video series, I have showed how to create a table using HTML table element and adding a styles, the row spans and column spans and how to add the images and video files into the table. After that, I have showed how to add the colors to the cells in this table using cascading style sheet. If you missed my previous video series of web designing courses, at the end of this video tutorial, you will get that video links. Now in this part 4 video series, I will show you the image element with cascading style sheets. Let's write the coding part. And this is the previous tutorial the table let's delete this table element now here I'm adding the image element img is equals to in the source attribute I'm adding the my image path now in the source attribute let's add the image file name Notice there is an image on my desktop execute app iPhone logo which is a JPEG file. I'm just copying this image file name and adding in this image source attribute and the extension is JPG because it's a JPEG file. Let's add some height of the image. I'm adding 100 and width of the image is equal to I'm adding 150 and and one more important property for the image element which is a alt alternative tag is uh, execute app image let's close the image tag make sure whenever you are adding the image elements add this alt property if the image is broken or it's not displaying properly on the browsers, uh, this text will be displayed instead of image. So let's save this file. We'll check the output. I'm reloading the browser. And here we got the output with the image. The height and width with the rounded corners. If you notice, if you notice I have added the external CSS style sheet. This is the style sheet one dot CSS which I have showed in my previous videos. So what I'm doing, I don't require for this video tutorial this external link. I'm deleting that one. Uh, let's save this file. We'll check the output now. Let's increase the height. Uh, 250, 200 and 250. Let's save this file. I'm reloading the browser. And here we got the output. Now my next aim is I want to add a, uh, the tooltip for this image tag. To add the tooltip for the image, there is a property called text, uh, sorry, title. Title. Just for the demo purpose, I'm adding this is my image. Let's 
save this file we'll check the output I'm reloading the browser after I reload the browser now when I mouse over see I got a tooltip before we don't have any tooltip now we got when I mouse over on the image we are getting the tooltip with the message I want to add some styles to this image let's add some border radius and um, the color of the borders also in the header section of our HTML page I'm adding the style tag it's a style Now inside the style tag I'm adding the class name when we are implementing classes we need to prefix with dot and image um, um, decoration is the class name now between these curly braces I'm adding the border for this image border is equal to I'm adding three pixels I'm adding the solid uh, so here we don't require any semicolons and the border I'm adding is violet semicolon let's save this file now after adding the border in this style tags let's add this class name copy that one in this image tag so let's add the class property I'm pasting this class name image decoration. Let's save this file. We'll check the output. I'm reloading the browser. See here we got the image got some border. Now let's add some radius to this image. The border radius is 20 pixels let's add let's increase the border size also let's add the 5 pixels save this file we'll check the output I'm reloading the browser again see now we got the rounded corners for this image so like that we can add the styles to this image now my next aim is I want to add this image at the center of the browser uh, so what I'm doing in the same style I'm adding margin top column I'm adding 15% so let's save this file let's check the output and here we got a new output I have added the margin of this browser the 15% top so let's minimize that one let's add the 5% only so this file I'm reloading the browser and after I reduce the margin top to 5% now let's add the margins left and right to make this image at the center of the browser Let's add the semicolon here. Margin left colon 45%. Let's check again. I'm reloading the browser. See here we got. So let's minimize this one also. Instead of 45, I'm adding 40%. Let's save this file. We'll check the output. So now the image got at the center of the browser. So adding the margins, the top, left, or right, or bottom, you can adjust the position of the image. So now my aim is, now the next step is, suppose if I add some text or content to this uh, page, um, here after the horizontal line I'm adding, um, this is, web design course for beginners yes, using HTML5 and C 
CSS3. So let's copy this one. I'm pasting the data here. So let's add this image between the content. So let's save this file. We'll check the output. I'm reloading the browser. After I reload the browser, notice the image is between the content. Because we have added the image between the content. Now my aim is I want to make this image position at the fixer even if I scroll the browser. So let's add the position fixer to the style uh, position is fixer semicolon and after that I'm just deleting this image tag I'm adding at the top. Let's save this file. We'll check the output. I'm reloading the browser. See here now we got the image. When I scroll down, the image is also showing at the center of the browser. Now let's check in the Internet Explorer also. Let's copy this the image URL. Internet Explorer URL enter and here we got the output on the Internet Explorer when I scroll down see it's working perfectly it's working perfectly in the Internet Explorer and the Google Chrome now let's add the opacity of this image the position fixing and the style sheet only opacity colon 10% semicolon let's save this file we'll check the output I'm reloading the browser and here we got the new output after we adding the opacity to this image now let's check in the Internet Explorer when I reload the browser see the opacity functionality is not working in this Internet Explorer. So, to fix that, instead of percentage, I'm adding 0 0.5. Opacity is 0 0.5. Let's save this file. We'll check the output. First, we'll check in the Internet Google Chrome. I'm reloading the browser. So, now the opacity is 0 0.5 now let's check in the internet explorer also i'm reloading the browser see it's working perfectly in the internet explorer also and let's add 0 0.2 so this file i'm reloading the browser in the internet explorer how to add the background image cover to the browser so let's switch back to the HTML page in the styles I'm adding the height and width of the image height 100% and width 100% let's save this file We'll check the output. I'm reloading the browser. And here we got the output. The image is this one with the height and width. Let's add the positions, the top and left positions. Mm. Top minus uh, 50 pixels and right. Minus zero pixels. Let's save this file. We'll check the output. 
So here we got new output. At the top we got some gap here. Let's fix that one also. The top I'm adding 70. So this file will check the output. I'm reloading the browser. And here we got a new output. Uh, let's delete the the title which is a pop-up save this file now I'm reloading the browser so now we are not getting any tooltip of the image see now the image is totally covered the background of a web page even when I scroll let's check in the Internet Explorer also I'm reloading the browser we have added the background image cover to our web page that's it